everybody, it has been quite a long while since I have made a YouTube tutorial video on anything, um, so I decided what better way to come back onto the interwebs than to do a makeup tutorial. So today I decided to use the Tarte Holiday Collection from 2015. If you guys are unfamiliar, it looks like this. You have a nice shade range of eyeshadow colors. You get a mini palette that has six more eyeshadows, blush, bronzer, and highlight, which you'll see later on in the video, mini mascara, and a um, mini brush. You can pair this with any lip. I decided to just stick with the theme and use one of the Tarte lipsticks. Um, but I guess that's all I really have to say, so if you want to learn how to do this, keep watching! What is up, guys? I am ready. I'm just beginning by pinning my hair back because getting foundation in your hair is literally a nightmare. Um, I'm going to begin with applying the Tarte 12 Hour CC Eyelid Primer. Um, I already have my brows filled in. I used the Tarte Emphasize Waterproof Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse. That brow mousse is insanely amazing for anyone who has oily skin. It's matte and smudge proof, so that's a really good one to pick up if you like a nice full brow. Um, next, I'm going to be going in with the NC20 Studio Finish Concealer by MAC with a flat concealer brush to really sharpen up those lines I used with the brow mousse. And then also it provides a really nice light base for the highlight we're going to be applying later on in the video. Alright, so after I finish blending that out with my ring finger, I'm going to be going in with a flat eyeshadow brush with the shade Eggnog as a really nice all over eyeshadow color to just even out the skin tone just a little bit more. I'm going to be following up with the shade Sugar Cookie as my brow highlight with a brush a little bit smaller but still flat and dense so you're going to be able to have a little bit more control with your product. Um, after that I'm going to take a fluffier brush. This one is by Sigma with the color Peach on Earth as a nice transition shade. And to really deepen and warm up that crease color, I'm going to be going in with Fireside Chat, which is a little bit more maroon, um, but still keeps the warmth of the peach on earth. So just kind of to just deepen it up and add a little bit more dimension without being so harsh and changing the color. Alright, so here I'm just going back in with the color we used initially all over the eyelid, which was eggnog. Um, just kind of reapplying that since we blended it out for the most part. And then I'm just going back, just removing any of the harsh lines between that and the transition shade. Um, afterwards, I'm going into the outer corner of the eye with a little bit more of a tapered fluffy brush with the colors Cocoa Fun and Slay Watch. So after all of that, I'm going to be taking a MAC 217 with a very, very light hand using the color Black Velvet, just focusing that extremely sparingly in the outer corner of the eye. Next, 
I'm going to be grabbing a Neutrogena Deep Clean Oil-Free Makeup Removing Wipe. Just kind of cleaning up any of the fallout. There wasn't really much, but you know, cleaning it up. <laughs> and uh, next I'm going in with one of my hands down favorite eyeliners ever, the Benefit Push-Up Liner. I think I need to do a separate video explaining how to use this liner and talking a little bit more about it because I feel like there are a lot of misunderstandings when it comes to the application of this liner. But it's super smudge proof and hella hella precise. <laughs> Just going back in with the black velvet just to kind of deepen up since I've already applied my liner um, the outer portion of the eye add a little bit more dimension got a little nose itch okay let's uh, move on move on move on I'm gonna be going in with the makeup forever step one skin equalizer pressing it in my skin making my pores disappear <laughs> Um, and then afterwards, I'm just going to be using a Tony Moly um, setting spray. Um, I like to use it more so as a toner, but you know, whatevs, whatevs. To each their own, you guys. Do whatever you want with whatever. Whatevs. Um, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I'm going to be mixing that in with the Make a Forever Chromatic Mix, the yellow shade, and the Hard Candy Glamophile. Glamouflage, blah, 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 blah. Um, in the areas where I need a little bit more coverage, the chromat. The, oh my goodness, I can't talk. The chromatic mix is incredible. I love it because you can buy any um, shade of foundation and make it match your skin with the mixers that they have. I know they have a black, a white, a brown, a blue, um, a red, and the yellow. Um, me being as fair as I am with a yellow undertone is really difficult for me to be able to find foundations that match my skin. They tend to be too pink um, or too dark. So literally buying the Chromatic Mix from Makeup Forever was one of my best purchases ever, 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 ever. just going in and wiping off any of the extra foundation on my lips because that looks crazy crazy um, I'm going to be going in again with the Glamouflage a teeny teeny tiny bit um, just for reference I'm using the shade light um, but anyway so I'm just applying that under the eyes and using a wet real technique real techniques sponge um, and blending that out and then any of the extra product on the sponge, I'm going to be using that just for the higher points of the face just to brighten those areas because I do not highlight my face. So I like to just pre-brighten them just with a concealer instead of like a shimmery um, product. Alright you guys, hands down favorite powder of all time. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium. My friend Michelle was trying to get me to buy this powder for the longest time and I finally did and I love it. It is a baked powder. It's extremely lightweight. It gives your skin such a nice satin natural finish that it doesn't look like we applied as much foundation and concealer underneath as we did. It's such an incredible powder. I love it. Thank you Michelle you were right. Um, next, I'm going in with the matte bronzer in the palette. It is called Social Butterfly. I'm kind of using it to kind of carve out my cheekbones and just warm up my face in other areas, just keeping myself from looking like a vampire, you know. I love 
the shade Amazed in the palette in the color Pink Champagne. Um, since I don't highlight my face, I like to mix these two together to give a really nice kind of pastel pink look to the cheek. Um, and then I like to brush a little bit on my nose so it looks a little bit more natural, so to speak. Um, I'm going to be going back in with Fireside Chat and Peach on Earth just to add a little bit more color to the lower lash line. Since I'm going to be using false lashes, I decided to just take a mascara, they're real from Benefit, and just kind of coat a really light coat on my lower and upper lashes. I'm going to be using a brow mousse, I guess it's, oh wait, no it's not, Perfecting Gel from Perfect. Um, it's not my favorite, but it gets the job done. I'm just going to hold my brows into place, and then I'm going to be going in and doing some Mo Revival. Thank you, Queen of Blending, for teaching me the art of anti-cake face, and I'll see you guys at the end. Alright, you guys, so this is the finished look. If you guys enjoyed this video, I feel like a robot saying this. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and thumbs up this video. <laughs>